everyone! Now it's not that usual that I record a midweek video, but this is a very special occasion. Last night I watched England get through to a semi-final of a World Cup for the first time since I've been watching them play football. <laughs> Now, I got into football when I was 13 years old. Up until that point, I had genuinely hated it. I was really into rugby. And then Euro 96 happened. And I went from, I don't understand why football is so popular. I mean, rugby is a real sport. It's so much better. I just, I will never be into football. To, it's coming home, it's coming home. It's coming, football's coming home. Oh, oh, where am I? And then we crashed out in the semi-finals when Gareth Southgate missed a penalty and I took that really, really well. You know, I mean, I took it exactly the way you would expect a hormonal 13-year-old to take it. But in fairness, the joy of us reaching the semi-finals of Euro 96, only to crash out in a penalty shootout, really did prepare me for what it would be like being an England supporter. Because genuinely, one minute you're... <coughs> and then the next it's more like... Maybe next time. <laughs> Watching England is not an easy thing to do. In fact, it can be downright stressful. You're having palpitations, you're sweaty, you are shaking, your nails are bitten down to the quick. Have you been watching England play football? But we won! I know! And we all know there is only one way to watch an England penalty shootout. Oh god, 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 tell me when it's over, tell me when it's over, tell me when it's over! The thing is, history may have taught me that we won't get past the group stage in a big tournament, but hope, hope can be a dangerous thing. And hope is what I have now. I don't want to jinx anything, but our team have played really well. We have an amazing manager in that very same Gareth Southgate who has used his devastating experience and turned it into something positive by being the kind of manager that the rest of the world respects. It turns out that Gareth Southgate is basically the nicest man in the world. And like I said, I really, really don't want to jinx it, but this team have given me so much hope. I'm not going to say that football is definitely coming home, but I feel like I should make up the spare bed just in case. But whatever happens, we have gotten further in a World Cup than we have for nearly 30 years, and that is something to be really, really proud about. I mean, not even the whining and the vocal support for whoever it is that we're playing against from all the Welsh and Scottish people on Twitter can dampen my pride or my enthusiasm. Seriously guys, I support your teams when they're not playing against England. Just get over yourselves, alright? And by the time this video goes live, we will be about to play in a semi-final against Croatia. And I will be preparing to watch that game. Boys, you have done me proud no matter what happens. I'm not going to take my shirt off and start screaming at the camera like Ross Kemp, but damn it, I am a proud England fan right now. You go out and you do your best. Whatever happens, I still love you. Oh, I'm going to go and bite all of my nails off. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. You can watch last Sunday's video over here and you can click on my floaty head to subscribe. I'm off to go and scream at the TV. Talk to you on Sunday. Bye!